Thank you for joining me in today's video about being intentional, the series of videos named after the book by the same name, which show you what it is that you can do in order to get the most out of your actions and get further along your life and achieve your goals with less effort. And with that, today's video is about planning. Planning is a little bit of a dirty word when we sort of come to think about it because it is associated in our minds with work. So, although logically, we know that we need to plan before we actually do anything, what we actually feel is in our minds that we tend to have to do work before the work that we have to do actually even starts. So we're facing at a double load of work. What happens when we see something like this is that we procrastinate. Because we procrastinate, we don't give ourselves sufficient time to plan. Without sufficient time to plan, our plans tend to be forced, they tend to be lopsided, we, take, we tend to take shortcuts. And those things then set us up to fail, which is why we don't usually succeed when we set ourselves up to achieve a specific goal. And the higher the stakes involved in this, the greater our aversion to doing this work because we feel a certain degree of anxiety, we feel a certain degree of uncertainty. This hyperloads the um, perceived odds in our brain and we tend to shy away from it because we feel that it's going to be too difficult, the outcome may potentially uh, hurt our image or hurt our confidence or damage our confidence and we are not really willing to easily or readily tackle it. Perfectly understandable as all this may be, it still leads to the question, how do we actually plan about anything in our life? And this is what we should do. We should always allocate ourselves sufficient time to plan. By planning, which we need to understand is preparation, we are basically making sure that we are reducing the uncertainty that we face and we are stacking the odds in our favor. The moment we cognitively tell ourselves this, our willingness to prepare uh, becomes a little bit stronger because we understand the direct benefits it will bring and our um, sort of unwillingness to put up with the effort required tends to diminish. So that's the first thing that we have to do. Give yourself or give ourselves plenty of time to plan. Once we have planned, then we need to go over the plan we have actually created to make sure there are no glitches in our design of it, to make sure that what we have put in place is realistic, to make sure that we feel confident in our ability to execute that plan so it actually fits with our own abilities. Then the final bit is that we need to make sure that the execution that we've actually laid out is also realistic. So sure enough, it is okay to plan something specifically, but if the goals we have set within that plan are unrealistic, they're too difficult, they're beyond our competence, then again, we're only setting ourselves up to fail. If we do those things, then whatever we face becomes easy to tackle because by planning, we cut it down to size into manageable chunks. And then all we have to do, all, <laughs> is get through our plan and actually execute it flawlessly and get the outcome that we achieve. Now, a few of the emails ask me, you know, how do we do anything? And <laughs> that's such a broad question that I can't really be prescriptive about it. You know, whatever we face as we, as us on our own, is contextually unique, it is personally unique, and in terms of the skill set that we actually bring and the knowledge and experience and the expectations, it also tends to be unique. So basically, in each situation, we are the ideal person who has to uh, take the approach that plans something into chunks, checks the plan for flaws, and then executes it. And this will never change in terms of, uh, of how it, it is done. So I can't be more prescriptive because it would be unrealistic to be so. And obviously it wouldn't help anyone in particular. However, what I can do is actually show you how I plan my day. And every day that I face has its own uniqueness, it has its own challenges, but there are some things there which are the same. And there's one quantity in each day, in each and every day, which is the same, and that's me. 
So essentially, I'm the immutable quantity. I am there. I'm the one who has to face the challenges. I'm the one who has to execute it. Now, when it comes to planning, there are a couple of myths which I feel we need to bust straight away. One is that it tells you, you know, start your day by doing the hardest task possible. The logic behind that is that if you do it that way, at the beginning of the day, for instance, then you have the resources because you're not tired, you have the focus because, again, you're not tired to actually get through it, and then you can get on with the rest of your day. Uh, another um, approach is to start by doing the easiest tasks of the day. Again, that also has a very specific um, logic behind it. Essentially, if we do start the day with the easiest tasks of the day, what we're doing is we're setting ourselves up to succeed by boosting our own confidence in our ability to get through the day and get things done. So it's almost uh, a little bit like a pep talk. Now, although there's a logic to both of these approaches, and within certain parameters, they're both very successful in their own right, generally speaking, in the long term, both of these approaches will not really work for you. Sure, you will get through your day, but you will not get through your life in the way that you actually want to. And the point of being intentional is just that. It's to have the life you want to live. It's to get to the goals that you really truly want to achieve. So how do we do that? Well, I plan my day by making sure that whatever I do throughout the day, however small and however or however big it is, fits in with my stated goals and actually moves me towards the future that I want to see for myself. So that is my trick, if you like. So it doesn't matter how difficult the task is that I start a day with, it doesn't matter how easy it may be, if it's not taking me further towards the goals that I want to achieve, then it is a waste of time and energy. And I shouldn't really be doing it. And in all honesty, I don't do things like that. So that's my litmus test. This is my approach to everything I do. Sometimes when I'm really tired, I may, for instance, start the day with something small so I can get my brain warmed up and I can get my focus going. Or if I you know, have uh, plenty of energy or have a long day ahead of me and I'm actually fully prepared to get through it, I may start with something big and tiring and then proceed on to smaller tasks and then sort of medium-sized tasks for myself. But whatever I do, in whichever order and for whatever reason, actually takes me towards the goals that I have set for myself long term. If it doesn't do that, I consider it a waste of time, I consider it a waste of resources, and I don't engage in it. And what I would advise you to do, what I would strongly advise you to do, is basically set up your day every day like that, which means that you're setting up your life to be like that. And that will give you a better sense of priorities, it will help you prepare faster and easier, and it will help you get past the mental block or the psychological block that we have when it comes to planning. I really hope this helps you. Please keep the emails coming in. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Do tell me what you think of the book once you start getting through it, if you haven't already. Thank you for being part of this journey. Stay safe out there. Take care.